beat him here. Do, 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 do. So good, so good that I've got you. <laughs> Certainly did, Mike. Thanks. Sure, it was uh, nice to win an award and uh, be described as legends. Yeah, no, but I think the most important thing is is that we're out there doing what we do yeah. to save lives and to keep the public safe, basically. So yeah. Hello and welcome to Sports Extra, I'm your host John Libben. This week I'm joined as always by legend Anthony Ellis. And this week we're also joined by former boxer, now coach and promoter Kieran Farrell. And he's brought along young prospect George Brennan. Lads, welcome to the show. Nice one, right. nice one, John. I'll be honest, George, you don't look old enough to be a professional <laughs> boxer. <laughs> That's the first question I get, because we were talking about uh, nicknames before the show. Okay guys, let's introduce ourselves. My name's Andy. Might have noticed that crazy horse over there is Mike. Hi guys. Are you saying I've just got this wheelchair just to get out of a £2.50 a day parking ticket? We've seen it a thousand times. Uh, go to the car boot sale, pick a wheelchair up, boom, free parking anywhere you want. Not on our watch, sir. Not on our watch. There's a car. Doing a little bit of online dating, you know, get myself back in the game. Have you got any online dates in the room? <laughs> I think we've got one or two liars in this room, aren't we? <laughs> First rule of online dating, you don't tell anyone you're online dating, I like that. <laughs> okay guys, who's next? How about you, or? You're too ill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So, does this job affect your social life at all? If anything, with the ladies it improves it, doesn't it? Because uh, the women see the ivies and they just go mental. Yeah. But I mean, gentlemen never kiss and tells, does he? Yeah, yeah. you never kiss. And to be fair though, Sandy didn't give me the best laugh I had last year because uh, she put an application form in TASDA, right? And I'd normally just pass them on to the manager, but I thought, I'm going to read Fat Scuffy Sandra's. Because she's one of these people that's always on Facebook saying, if it wasn't for these refugees, I'd have a job. You know, one of them types. And I thought, I'm going to see if she's got a point here. First question, what sets you apart from other candidates? I don't know because I haven't met them. <laughs> Well, that's a weird start, Sam. That's a weird start. Next one, work history. For the last couple of years, she'd just put mum. But she left school in 1998, so between 1998 and 2005, do you know what she'd put? Trying for kids. I thought, I don't think you're going to get away with shagging on an application form, Sandra. But the one that really made me laugh, honestly, it was it's the hardest question on any application form. What is your weakness? Right, what is your weakness? Hardest question. You're not going to put like early morning, something like that. I think when I got the job, I put something like, oh, my weakness is I don't, when I get given a job, I don't look at me watch or the clock. I'll just carry on working until the job's done. <laughs> my weakness is I'm too hard working. <laughs> That's why I'm on 7.20 an hour. <laughs> Do you know what Sandra put for her weakness on her application form? Black men. <laughs> 